Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy. We are in a field that had a 10 weight mix of cover crops after wheat and it was seeded um, early August and you can see buckwheat flowering there um, generating uh, beneficial bee habitats. We have lots of radish, um, lots of rapeseed, sorghum sudan grass. So basically we have a mix of warm season legumes and broadleafs that will transition to some cool season oats, radish, um, hairy vetch, and so this farmer is looking to build soil structure and also to fix some nitrogen. Um, additionally there was chicken manure put on this so stuff is very robust and healthy and then we have um, what I'm seeing for the first time is a lot of phacelia out here. Um, that's more of a pollinator plant but also has some soil benefits um, and then we also have sun hemp which is a new one so this is a warm season legume so we're gonna dig up some roots here in another week and see what we got for nodulation um, so just checking out the 10-way mixes after cover after wheat Dan Perkins cover crop guy